Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, last week I said that we might be getting a new plugin, a new animator plugin for Unreal Engine 5.6 because the old one just wasn't working correctly. Well, today is the day. If you go to Fab right now and type in MetaHuman, click on this, go to Epic Games as the publisher, sort by new. It's not really filtered yet. If you go to the left, there's going to be a MetaHuman animator depth processing plugin. This is the missing piece of the puzzle. So go ahead and install that and in your engine and in your Epic Games launcher, if you just click on refresh here on the left, this is going to refresh your library. And once it's done, just type in MetaHuman right here. You should see this MetaHuman animator depth. Now it looks just like the old one, but this is what you want. I already have it installed, so I'm not going to be able to install it again. After that, just open up your 5.6 project, go to edit, plugins and again type it in here just to make sure it's in here and you should see it right here it doesn't even have the icon yet because they just added it so metahuman animator depth processing now the process is fairly similar to the old one there's just a couple of changes okay next we'll go to capture manager again and click on live link hub since as you can see right here it's going to be moved to live link hub so capture manager will not be available and in here i'm going to click on capture manager and the add device, I'm gonna say live link face. This is where you're gonna be putting in your IP address from your actual iPhone app or Android app. So I'll just put a bunch of number in here. Press connect. I'll make this bigger here. And then you're gonna see all of your takes. Now it changed slightly. It's a little bit more confusing. Um, it got mixed up as far as the, the order. So what I'll do is I'll go to list because I know the takes that I want is 71 for the calibration and 73 for the takes. So I'll press on my control button and I will just say add to queue. And after that, start. And now this is going to import it similarly to how it did it before. Now, I already did that to save some time. And what the capture manager will do is create a folder, imports, live link face. Now we have the two slates right here. And that's pretty much it. From there, you just get to create your metahuman identity once again. Process it the same way. And then after that, you're going to create a MetaHuman performance. Now, right now, currently, whenever I was processing my MetaHuman identity, I was getting an error when I was trying to add teeth, a fit teeth. Let me know in the comments below if you're able to do it, but I am running into some error for that. Additionally, whenever I was trying to export my facial animation to my mesh, I'll just type in V3 right here. I'm getting this error saying something about a missing some curves i just press yes for now i'm not sure why that's missing we'll have to find out later but i'm using the same exact skeletal mesh that the metahuman identity created so i don't know why it wouldn't work and then lastly i caught something that i'm not sure if is actually true or not but if i press create right here and say yes on the bottom right corner this is now going to say 60 hertz instead of 30 hertz so does that mean so does that mean that we just got the 30 extra FPS out of the MetaHuman animator. Looking at this result compared to my old one, I think so, but I don't know. We're gonna have to confirm. Maybe somebody in the comments uh, will confirm that we do have in fact 60 FPS now instead of 30. Because before we were capturing 60, but processing it and exporting it at 30, but now it looks like we're getting 60, 60. That's pretty much it for the tutorial. What I'm going to do is show you the result that I got from this. Now, I know I mentioned it in the video that the plugin is not out yet, but it's actually out now that you can download and play around with. With that being said, if you don't mind, go ahead and like and comment in this video so that it can help with the SEO rankings. Till then, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace out. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Unreal Engine 5.7 Experimental Meta Humids. Now, some of y'all wanted to see the facial animation and just a regular talking instead of me making funny faces or whatnot. So that's what we're going to be doing right about now. Now, a couple of disclaimers, though. I actually had to process this facial animation using the 5.5 MetaHuman Animator because I was running into some errors when trying to process it in the 5.7 Experimental branch. From what it looks like, we're probably going to need a new plugin whenever this is actually available. Additionally, it looks like in Unreal Engine 5.8, the Capture Manager is going to be going away and it's going to be moved to the Live Link Hub. 
So that said, this is me just talking, talking about the MetaHuman Unreal Engine 5.7, how's the facial animation. I did run into some rigging facial animation issues because I was processing it in 5.5. I also tried 5.3 and 5.4, but it seems like we're going to get another plugin. So the process might actually change whenever this officially comes out. That said, let me know in the comments below if you didn't run into any problems. Maybe it was just me.